different. I've had uh, a few people tell me that uh, you should do more videos. Um, and the reality is, is I don't like being in front of the camera. I, I listen to these things and there's too many ums and ahs and my big old Charlie Brown head and goofy face and I just don't like doing videos. But I realize that uh, a lot of times this information is helpful to people and I get asked a lot of questions frequently. So I thought I might try to get myself outside of my comfort zone and start trying to answer some of the frequently asked questions on a more weekly basis. So today what I want to do is walk through um, wiring up your output jack um, and identifying what is the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump into the bench and we'll get straight into it. Most folks using Spectre bases will have barrel jacks like this. Uh, and this is the barrel jack that we sell on the website if you prefer to buy one. Um, we only use Switchcraft jacks. Uh, I really don't advise using the cheaper ones. They're, they're just not as reliable as these are. Even though they're more expensive, they're definitely worth it. So what I'm going to walk through is taking a standard barrel jack and the cable that comes with your LHZ kit and walk through how to solder it and particularly making sure that you have the, the ring and the sleeve connectors connected to the right wires because if you get those backwards, you'll have some battery drain. So the first thing I'll do with the barrel jack is cut off this long piece of connector. This is intended if you're going to have it in an inline jack. I don't need it. So I will typically cut it right as it kind of goes into that little joint like that. Then I'll cut off the edges so we don't have sharp ends on it. And then we're ready to work with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut in the ends of the wires. And I like to cut these at different lengths to correspond to the lengths of the, the tabs that I'm connecting them to. So the, the white wire is going to go to the short tab here and the black wire is going to go to the long one here. So I'm basically going to cut these so they're a little better in alignment. So I'm going to make the black wire a little bit shorter. This doesn't have to be exact and truly you don't need to do this. I, ju I just find it, it helps with the aesthetics a little bit. And then you're going to strip the end of the wires. I use a Nipix stripping tool. I use the old style uh, strippers for a long time. This is a very handy tool just to set a particular strip link and it just pulls it right off. Well worth the investment. Before you solder these, it's very important that you tin the wires. So you may ask yourself, why do I want to tin the wires if they're already tinned? That's a valid question. When you're soldering the barrel jacks, time is your enemy. So you really want that soldered connection to go as quickly as possible, not stay on there for a long length of time. So when your leads are pre-tinned, uh, they will grab the heat a lot quicker. So take my soldering iron. I'm just going to wet the tip slightly. Then I'm just going to touch it to the bottom of the wire. Apply a little solder. You'll see the solder will just soak right up into the wire. And we're tinned. We're ready to use. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a handy dandy headphone adapter jack and just put it in my alligator clips and put my barrel jack on it. Yes, I'm cheating, but this is a handy way of holding this stuff while I'm working on it. So identifying these, you'll, you'll have three connectors on here. The big one that you cut off, you'll notice, is connected to the outside. This is the sleeve. That sleeve will be your black wire. The shortest pin that you have down here is the tip. If you look at the installation manu manual in the very back, you'll have a guide showing you how these are connected to either barrel jacks or traditional TRS connectors, but it's very important to be able to identify which ones are which. So the shortest one on a barrel jack is your tip. That'll be your white wire. The ring will be the medium size pin. That's this guy here. And that will be your blue wire. So I'm going to start from the inside out, which means I'm going to start from the shortest one. I'm going to start with the white wire going to the tip. So I'm basically just going to lay this white wire inside that. And then I'm going to use my other alligator clip to hold it. You may be tempted to just let gravity hold it, but you'll find as soon as you put heat on it, it's going to move. So the secret here is heat transfer and speed. So when when you touch this, you really want to make good contact between the tip of your soldering iron and this connector 
Once that heats up, you're going to flow the solder onto it and it should just flow over the whole wire. I, tr I generally try to get into it from underneath. On these jacks, it's not really that easy to do. So we'll just go ahead and go through the process. So clean the tip so it's clean. Wet it slightly so it has something to transfer heat. Put it underneath. Blow your solder in. Get out of the way. Should only take a couple seconds to do that. And you'll see that the solders float all the, all the way around. We have a good connection. So then we'll move on to the blue wire and do the same thing. We're going to go blue wire onto the longer terminal. Again, putting it through there, hanging it into our uh, alligator clip like this. Once again, clean the tip, use a little solder, and you'll see that the heat will flow in there and just roll your solder on it and take it off. The last one is the sleeve. Sleeve is a little tricky. And I'm going to want it just to have it laying on that surface. The wire is laying on the surface. And again, I'm going to heat from underneath. So I'm going to clean the soldering iron, wet it slightly. I'm going to touch it underneath. And you'll notice that the, the metal will start to discolor, indicating that it's got heat. And then I'll just flow the solder onto it and take it away. A couple seconds, and you've got a good connection. When we're all done, we have our jacks wired. I generally try to pull the pull the uh, pins in a little bit. Um, it's important to notice here too that the leads are not long, so I've I've really cut them short enough to go through the the terminals without leaving bare wire. And the reason for it, that way, when everything is jammed together, it's not going to short out. And that's it. That's how you solder your uh, barrel jacks. Uh, I know a lot of uh, our clients are not fond of soldering. We tend to don't do it that much. And if you're really nervous about it, it's not difficult to do. Just a little practice before you actually start working out. Just get some wires and solder it. will go a long way. But if you're truly nervous about doing it, we do sell these on our website. Um, we use Switchcraft jacks, so only the best jacks. We don't use the cheap ones. Um, it's you know, not an expensive investment and a switchcraft will last you for many, many years. So when you receive that, it'll come as a, as a complete unit, just ready to plug into the LHC. So I hope that helps you. Um, have a great day and I will try to do this again next week and get more comfortable doing these.